this video we will take a look at some of the new scroll effect options which allow us to create this cool effect which you can find on blocks app website or in, for example in my construction template I have released last month you can see that I have some amazing partner global partners section here which has this beautiful effect and it's very easy to create I will quickly show you how to do that now so let's open the project anything this is the new version of my website I'm working on at the moment and I'm still kind of in the process of building it but let's use this section to create some kind of effect here so for best results I think it's nice when we have some some background image something like that and basically what we need to do is place multiple items it can be images icons whatever you want and set them to have the scroll effects applied so I will just have four of the images and I'm not even sure what kind of images I'm going to use here but let's just use this SVG icon and I will duplicate it four times Let's make this full width so right now it will look like that not very amazing let's actually make this block full screen so we have a better area to work this something like that so what is important here to do is to change the size of these to make them a little bit different when we have the different size the speed for the for the scrolling will be different as well and so maybe let's change the margin here and I'm using the freehand controls here like in my construction template I use the positioning settings to create exactly what I wanted to have but even this will work quite fine so we have four elements positioned a little bit differently let's enable parallax as well and see how this looks so this already kind of reminds us of the blocks website right but what we can do now we can select each of these elements and we can enable the scroll effects and if we select the scroll in and scroll out effects at the same time you can see that continuous option becomes available it's not available if you don't have both of them enabled so let's do that for all four of them honestly that's basically it let's go to preview and you can see well not very well maybe but you can see that these are moving this different speed let's actually do something different here maybe I will make this one smaller and let's adjust the size and this one will be the big one let's make it something like that okay and let's move this down there something like that maybe not this much so let's go back to preview and you can see that now these are moving this different speed and you can place as many as you want obviously if you take a look on like on the construction template I have like eight of the images and each of these are actually links to the websites of partners so it's very cool you can do some cool sections and here as well I think these are not links just images but it is basically about eight or ten yeah something like that images placed like randomly on the screen different size and because there are different size they're moving this different speed at least it looks like that here as well and now here as well if we go to preview in the browser you can see that we have this beautiful this beautiful effect so this is how you create the design like this very cool and obviously we can use the positioning tab here to move these elements where we want on the screen and this is what I have done actually in my construction template I was actually going to use this for this video but I think that using the freehand control is even simpler and in this situation we have 
pretty much what we wanted to have. Maybe the one thing I would change here is maybe change the padding, make it margin, make it kind of cross the line here, the edge, and this will give us the cool effect when we won't have the full icon available to us. So something similar to what I have here. It kind of gives us this 3D dimension. Another thing actually which will which can improve this, like if we have this uh, this icon, let's say a little bit blurrier, and this is one of the things I'm going to cover in the next video actually, but if we make this a little bit blurry, it can also make the illusion that this is closer to us, out of focus, but once again it's maybe not for this video, I will talk about the image effects in the next one. So that's it for this video, let's talk about the filter tab, the one I just used here in the next video.